Hey, what's up guys? Chris here from Security Bros, back with another video. And today I will take a closer look at the new camera from Xiaomi, the Xiaobei Imilab Outdoor Wi-Fi PTZ IP security camera with model number CMSXJ25A. This is a really interesting camera from Xiaomi that immediately caught my attention when I first saw it and I had to get one to test out. The camera is only sold as a Chinese version for now but will work anywhere as long as you use China as region in the Mi app. Another thing as well is that when you connect to the camera for the first time you are required to insert a 4 digit passcode which the camera will say in Chinese. So unless you speak Chinese you will need to download Google Translate and use the conversation feature in the app. You can also use the same app if you want to translate the quick start guide, it worked really well. It's advertised as a PTZ camera but you can actually only pan the camera, there is no tilt and it only has a 4 digit of zoom. It's a really well built camera as with most things from Xiaomi, however the camera do have some problems with detecting motion. Sometimes it works and sometimes it doesn't, many times it didn't register any movement when I was walking in front of the camera, even when I set it to high sensitivity. But you can set the camera to record 24-7, so even if it misses to detect motion, you will not miss out on anything since it will still be recorded, it's just that you won't get notified when something happens. Hopefully they can do an update making it more reliable. I got this camera from AliExpress and I paid $50 for it including shipping and if you're interested in buying one you will find my affiliate links in the video description down below with the most updated prices. The camera records in 1080p at 20 frames per second and has a viewing angle of 110 degrees and you can pan the camera 270 degrees using the app. It has two way audio so you can talk and listen through the camera. And this is how there is also a siren that can be motion activated or you can manually turn it on in the app. It supports up to 256 GB SD card and according to the seller it will only record alarms to the SD card but that is not true you can actually record 24-7 to the SD card. You can of course also use a cloud subscription if you want as well as NAS. The camera is made for outdoor use with a IP66 rating, which means it's weatherproof and should have no problem with heavy rain. It has a working temperature between minus 30 and 60 degrees Celsius. It uses 10 infrared lights for night vision with a range of 15 meters. You can also set it to use full color night vision. What we get in the box is the camera, power adapter, quick start guide, cable protector, a bag with screws, and a screwdriver. The build quality is really good and I like the design of the camera. It's all plastic but I'm confident the camera will last a long time being outdoors. The mounting bracket makes it easy to adjust the camera and feels sturdy enough. Ok so to connect to the camera for the first time you need to download a Mi app from Google Play Store or App Store depending on what device you're using and as I said in the beginning of the video you also need Google Translate unless you speak Chinese of course. After you have downloaded the app and created a new user account, go to profile, settings and then region and choose China mainland. Power on the camera and wait for it to boot up, it should blink yellow when it's ready. Then click on the plus icon to add a new device. The camera should show up automatically in devices nearby, if it doesn't you can also add it manually by clicking on Imilab security camera N series. Click on it and then select your Wi-Fi and click next and wait for it to connect. This is where we need to insert the 4 digit passcode using Google Translate. Then click on next and wait for the camera to connect. Here you can click skip or select a room where you're gonna place the camera in. Change the camera name and then click next. And that's it, now you should be connected to the camera. So here we got monitoring, which is where we can access the alarm clips. And in playback we can select what day and time we want to go back and watch the recording. This is saved on the SD card. We can talk through the camera and access the cloud storage. These two arrows are for panning the camera and here you can also access the playbacks. 
Then we can change the image quality, turn on and off the sound, set preset points, take a snapshot, record video, turn on the siren and full screen. In the top right corner we got the settings menu and in camera settings we got for example image settings where we can turn on and off wide dynamic range. And in night vision settings we can select if we want to activate full color night vision. In home monitoring we can for example set up if we only want motion detection in certain areas. And we can also set the siren to turn on automatically when motion is detected. We can set the monitoring time, the sensitivity, alarm interval and turn on and off push notifications. And I think that's all of the more important settings. We got some other settings here as well like manage SD card storage and cloud storage. But other than that there is not much more settings to play around with. So let's have a look at some recordings I did. Image quality isn't the best but I still think it's okay for a $50 camera. And at 10 meters you can easily read a license plate. And here I test the pan function. This is with night vision on, but this is not in complete darkness since there is a street light just across the street. And this is full color night vision. And here is a clip where I test the motion detection when it worked as it's supposed to do. Alright guys, I think that's all I had for today's video, thanks for watching and hopefully I see you in my next video. See you!